Hello. Uh, my name's Ben. I'm a freelance motion designer out of Denver, Colorado. Uh, if you're curious, um, I'm gonna show you guys some time displacement stuff. It's super quick. Uh, it's one of my favorite techniques right now. It's super in. ESPN uses it a lot and it looks cool. So we are in After Effects. We have a new composition and we are going to start typing stuff. Introducing. Da -dee -da, -dee da go to paragraph, make sure it is centered and align and center this bad boy. Move a few frames forward, command shift D to cut it. Uh, move a few frames forward, maybe command shift D, make this one. Um, stroke, make it a stroke. Maybe make this one not a stroke. So this is what I have so far. Cool. Um, tutorial guy. Uh, maybe do some reptile. Something in my mouth. Um, expand down, expand up. Do. I set some keyframes. So we are. Expanding these down and up. And then we're gonna go to the graph editor and make sure that it'll look cool. We and bring it back down to zero. With that hill. All right, and let's uh let's put both of these at the same value. 1,000, 1,000. So they come together at the same time. <sighs> okay, and... Tutorial guy, yeah, woo. Right when it comes down, cut on action. <clears throat> Very fun. And... We'll just add some more. Text layers, super fun. So we're gonna do a layer new, adjustment layer, bring it up to the top, and type in time displacement. Cool. So we don't have a displacement layer yet. And if we don't have a displacement layer, everything's gonna look super weird. So let's create a new solid. And just do a gradient for now. A gradient ramp. Um, and we're gonna make it a radial ramp. I'm gonna start it in the center. Then we're gonna add posterize. That will do that. You want the end of the ramp to be at the end of the over here though. And we'll add some more posterized level. Let's do like 15 or something. Just to give it a little more detail. It's pretty sweet looking. Um, and then we'll create the adjustment layer to that and add effects and masks. And then you can already see, I'll just go to quarter quality so that we can actually see what's going on. Ooh, woo, tutorial guy. Um, that looks kind of cool. We can art direct it a bit if we invert this. Then we're gonna get everything expanding from the middle. And under the time displacement, I'll do 0.25 for the time displacement amount. And that looks pretty good. Time resolution doesn't need to be that high. That um, I'll just do 24, just because we have the posterized stuff. Um, 
And then you can you can obviously animate other stuff here. So um, if we were to animate the position of this to you know, pop up from the bottom, we'll go into the graph editor. I pretty much always go into the graph editor for if I'm animating anything. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. I don't love it, so I'm gonna duplicate it. I like the symmetricalness that we had going on, so I'll duplicate it and raise this one up quite a bit and make it look a little symmetrical. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Well. Maybe got a little razzle dazzle here. Move the anchor point. That's a plugin. I'm using Motion Tools 2.0, but you can move the anchor point like that. I'm just gonna do it right there. Or I know there's a button within After Effects that moves anchor points for you. And then I'll go into the graph editor again. Make sure this guy is. Peeking wheel. Very fun. We need some emphasis on very fun, or else people aren't gonna really think it's that fun. So, you. Actually, let's kill this. Very fun. People are gonna be like, holy shit, how fun is it? Very fun. So, tutorial guy, very fun, whoa. Um, and then you can, I'll just give me all these positions. Ooh, did not do that right. Down a bit. Um, and. Oh, we gotta separate these dimensions. Select all of these. Oh, whoa. I did not do that right. Oh, I have to select these individually. Kidding. Enjoy my life for the most part. Boom, boom. Very fun. We do do do. And then we'll just have these fade into darkness. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing super well because this part is boring. And Gillespie, tutorial guy. Whoa, very fun. Super fun. Maybe we need some more razzle dazzle on here. We'll just do the old stroke thing. Where we go to character, make it stroke. Maybe we could just copy and paste this uh, reptile that we have. Copy, paste, you. Perfect. Oh, uh, we'll just keep going. This could be a different adjective to describe yourself. You know, feel free to change the copy to whatever you want. Um, you know, this copy might not work for your particular brand, your particular project, just do your own thing, you know, make it unique, make it your own. Whoa, I did not want to do that. But 
But I mean, for 99% of the projects, this, this copy will work fine. Um, cool. Yeah, I mean, looks great. Um, and then another thing you can do, so if you just pre-compose this with Control shift c name it displacement. The name doesn't matter, it's just for organization. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that. Move all attributes into the new composition. Displacement. Then you can add elements like, um, if you want a big old X in here, if you want an X element to be displaced, you can definitely add that. center and you'll have your X element like pretty prominent in these animations um, maybe you just want an X stroke and so you go to character and add a bit of stroke oh I just scaled this bad way up that's not good practice maybe I want this one to be black though. And I want it to be a black stroke. And I can move the anchor point to the center and scale it down and do something like that. Whoa, cool. It just like adds a little bit of dimensionality to it. You can also use like noises or something. With time displacement stuff, you generally need to be kind of black or white or shades of gray. Um, you can't have a whole lot of gradients is what I'm saying because if you don't have this posterize on, it's gonna kind of auto posterize your stuff with um, the uh, the specific time resolution that you have, which, you know, for some stuff might work. It might work great. But that is the time displacement effect. Super cool for just adding a little bit of razzle dazzle, just a tiny bit more razzle dazzle. You can do whatever you want with the dis displacement map. That's the end. I hope you learned something. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, if you hate me, that's totally fine. Um, that is the end.